I did not think that we would ever get to this point where I would be making this video because I thought this project was dead in the water. Like I didn't think that this would be happening, but no, we've done it. We've literally done it. We've found the source, the original definitive source of the Gravity Falls Slenderman hoax image. Like, <laughs> like you do not know how this feels. Like the only way I can describe this is that there was a YouTuber named Celsi One who did this whole project to find the um, origin of this image from Minecraft called Pack.png and like he made a couple of videos about it and he had a whole team and eventually he did. Like they found the image after like months of searching and that is the way he felt and when he found that image I guess is the closest I can f describe the feeling of basically finding this thing. I did not think it would be, po it would be possible but we've done it. And this is the, this, now I'm sure you all know, want to know what it is so let me just get through this whole story so I can tell you all how we managed to find the Gravity Falls Slenderman hoax image because this was a team effort. So it all began just a little over a year, about a year ago, so last July. So I'm gonna run down all that happened really quickly because I've already summarized the stuff in my last video, which I recommend watching before you get to this video if you've not seen it. But long story short, if you're in the Gravity Falls fandom for a long time, then you've probably seen this image before, which is of which is a screenshot from The Legend of the Gobblewonker, which is the second episode of the show. And in the background, you can see through this very obvious uh, red circle that um, there is a, a creature or like an entity standing in the background behind this tree. And as it's been stated, this is Slenderman. So um, basically, what, you know, so I don't need to tell you who Slenderman is, so you already probably know it. But long story short, this image began spreading around the internet shortly after the episode aired in July. Well, the episode aired in June, but this image started spreading in July. And basically what happened was this image was going around and people were being like, oh my god, Slenderman is in Gravity Falls. Like, what? Like, this is like this, this creepypasta character is in a Disney cartoon. How on earth is that possible? And I mean, of course the image is fake. I mean, anyone who can, who goes back and watches the episode will be able to see this, that he was never there to begin with. So this was a fake image and depending on who you ask, like some Gravity Falls fans hate this image, other Gravity Falls fans love this image because it got them into the show. Um, but regardless, like this image really gained a lot of momentum back in the day. But what not a lot of people know or don't, no one really knows is who this, who created this image. And so that was the goal of my original hunt, which I originally made a Reddit post on uh, back in July of 2021. The whole goal was to try and find the original Slenderman image source. So um, yeah, that, that was originally the first post that I made. Um, me and a couple of people on the DadGFN Discord server then continued on with the hunt and I eventually made a second update post in which I talked about how we made a couple of big discoveries and the first being that we found the image on knowyourmemes.com and it was posted on the 11th of July 2012 which was two days before the Imgur post which was made on uh, the 13th of July 2012. So in case you don't know the Imgur post is probably the most popular most well-known post alongside the 9gag post which was made in August and these two um, sources are where most people get their image get the image from. However, this Know Your Meme post was made on the 11th of July by someone called Memes Are Not Funny Anymore. We basically were able to find this as being the oldest mention of the um, image online. Um, we also found a couple of Tumblr blogs and and later on a DeviantArt post which I talked about in my third post about this and we determined these were the oldest like mentions that were still viewable on the internet of the Slenderman post. Um, however, we ultimately came on a dead end by the time of post number three. There was nothing older that we could find. And that pretty much brought the search to a standstill. And yeah, with no new leads, I basically decided to release my uh, video about it with all the information combined from those three posts and, you know, I called it a day. There was um, nothing else to go on from there. I mentioned in the video and also in my uh, post that I did have a working theory that perhaps this image originated from 4chan. So basically the working theory was that perhaps the image came from 4chan's comics and cartoon board or like CO board or something what it's called. I didn't have any evidence to prove that of course I was just going off of possible assumptions that this was the origin of the image and that was about it. There were no new leads being made by anyone and with the video now out, yeah that was it. And I kind of just packed up the project and moved on. Until just now. Literally on the day I'm recording this, which is the 14th of July, so the day before 
something very big happened that really, really finalized and confirmed this mystery once and for all as solved. So basically what happened was with this idea of 4chan being possibly where the image came from, a user who watched my video named Patrick made a interesting discovery. So Patrick basically he joins my server and what the first thing he posts on the server is this image and holy oh my gosh it's from 4chan. Now the image is like I have it up on the screen now and what it is is basically a screenshot of an archive of 4chan's cartoon board and the image is right there and it was made on the 7th of July 2012. And this is huge because this is older than the Know Your Meme post and also a discovery I made later on when I was editing the video where I found that on Google Trends there were mentions of topics like Gravity Falls Slender Men without the space in between Slender and Men and these were made on the 9th of July. So that basically made me believe that the image was probably found or began spreading on the 9th of July but didn't go viral until the 11th and 13th when it was posted on Know Your Meme and Imker. But this was posted on the 7th of July on 4chan's cartoon board. So this was older and that was huge because if this is indeed true then what we just might have just what Patrick might have just found here is the original post the original source of the image and that is yeah I, I mean I know I'm saying this is huge so many times but like legitimately this is big this is a huge discovery and if this is legit then this is the end of the mystery once and for all we can finally put this to rest today. So I immediately got in touch with Patrick and asked him like how on earth did he do this like because like obviously I was shocked but I was also a bit skeptical still because like this could easily be a troll still from a new user who joins the server. So I asked him to elaborate more on how he managed to find this and so he sends he sends me the 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 link to the source of the image which was a 4chan archiver and he goes into detail about what he what what happened so to quote what he said on my server it was quote there are two main archives of, of the CO board. One is called Archive Mo, which doesn't, at least for me, have a functioning search bar. The other is Dio Archive, whatever it's called. That one has a search bar that actually works. However, it doesn't have images or even thumbnails archived that far back, but I thought it would be better than nothing. I initially cast too narrow of a net of searching Gravity Falls Slenderman from dates of July 8 to July 12, 2012. When I realized I wouldn't actually get results, I searched Gravity Falls and was reassigned to look at every general thread until I realized I was being stupid and could just search Slenderman during those dates, and I'm sure someone mentioned the image in that time span. I also expanded the search date to July 7th, which was a very good decision since I found soon found the post that the origin post would respond to, but it didn't have any image. So I then realized I could copy the thread in the URL to archive Mo, and I actually had something. So to put it simply, um, Patrick basically searched up Gravity Falls Slenderman on this other archive website, and he found something. But of course, the image was not there because that archive didn't have the images archive. So he then went on this other archive site, now that he had the source, and he checked on there and boom, he found the image. So we now had a source for the image. And also surprisingly, despite this being 4chan, we also had a username attached to it. So a person by the name of Tigerfan51087. So one of my other friends named uh, n 7 Spongy, he decided to look up that username and see what he could find. And miraculously, he found a couple of active social media links of this person. So he went and contacted him. And I also contacted him on a couple of other social media sites I could find and tried to see if we could get some results. However, um, I was starting to grow a bit skeptical about this being the source for two very important reasons. So um, first of all, um, Tiger mentions in his uh, in his like post on 4chan that the, the when he posted the image like he said already in episode 2. So this was obviously getting me a bit concerned the way that he said already in episode 2 because that got me wondering that perhaps this person was not the original creator of the image but instead was someone who had found the image somewhere else and was posting it on here thinking that it was legit as well. 
Um, that said, I was also it was also the possibility that this could be just like a a troll that this person was the real creator of the image, but they were po doing saying that just to add on to the joke. On top of that, we were also finding some stuff on these on this guy's public social media accounts that kind of began to make us assume that perhaps they weren't the original creator of the image. That maybe there was some this was not it. Um, eventually, um, Patrick found a source on the uh, the 4chan archive, and it basically confirmed what we were what I was worrying about. And as you can see here, Tiger mentioned that he did not uh, Photoshop the image, but found it elsewhere. So yeah, we were basically back to square one. Um, one consolation about this discovery was that, of course, that this showed that the image was likely older than even the 7th of July, which was kind of a surprise because I thought this, this was as far back as it could be. But now we obviously have proof that this was not the original source of the image, but something older existed. So now it was a question of trying to find where this image originated from. And luckily for us again, Tiger here mentions where he got the image from. And it's a website called tgfb.net. So now we are going on to a website called tgfb.net. Um, basically, uh, Patrick, he, founds, he found an archive of the website on Wayback Machine, and I was given access to it. So first of all, we now knew that this new source where we could possibly find the image was no longer up online. So that obviously meant that, okay, this might ha help explain why no one can find the source of this image because it no longer is on a website that no longer exists. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Um, the image source, apparently I now found, when I got the source link to what this website was, I loaded it up and... <laughs> Well, let's just say I found out what TGFB stands for, and... <laughs> the website stands for the goddamn furry board! <laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, the image link is to a furry image board. Okay then. Okay, we're doing this. We're actually doing this. Me, Patrick, and Spongy are now going onto a furry image board of all places to find the origin of a Gravity Falls fake screenshot from 10 years ago. Sometimes I wonder if I could have just, if I had just applied myself more in, co in school, I could have been an engineer by now. Anyways, in all seriousness, um, this was a big, this was a big uh, result. Like, this is a big find because now we had a possible website where we could find the origin of this, of this image. And um, we had to, we had to obviously look through this because we needed to be certain that there was nothing older. So basically what happened was Patrick looked on the board while I was still getting access into the website and to our surprise, Patrick found it. He found this image here, this post on the website. The post was made on the 6th of July, 2012 at 5.32 p.m. EDT. And it was just the just a post by this user by the ID of uh, Cafe2. I'm just gonna call him Cafe for the rest of this video. Um, and the, the image is listed as being he always watches .jpg as the original file name. And I mean, nowadays this would be associated with Bill Cipher, but this is back before Bill was even introduced as a character, so this is related to Slenderman here. And yeah, the image could actually also be downloaded, which was not something we could do on the uh, 4chan archive. So I got, I was able to get a full screen download of this image. And as you can see from here where I'm posting it, this is a very, this is a slightly altered and very different version of the image to the one that is, you all likely know. And the big reason is that the uh, red circle, which is around Slenderman, is not there. Now in my original video of the Slenderman uh, search, I also included a circle-less screenshot, a photo of the image, but that was something I, I, I edited myself. However, this is an original. This is not anything that I made. This is straight out of an archive from 2012. So this is legit the oldest, 
the original likely uh, look of the image as it was when it was posted originally. So this was a huge find. We likely found the original image. Um, <laughs> this was huge. Um, of course though, we needed to be 100% certain though, because we were not celebrating just yet. We had found something older than the 4chan post, but we didn't yet know if this was indeed it, that this was indeed the oldest mention of this post. We needed to find proof that Cafe was the creator of the image, or at least find proof that they got it from somewhere else if that was it. And if they had gotten it from somewhere else, then we were in a bit of a worry because by sheer luck, we were, we had been even been able to find this uh, this image board here because like had Tiger not listed this as the source of where he got his image from on his 4chan post, then we wouldn't even be here right now. This was a huge, huge bit of luck that this Tiger person posted the link. So we now had to be 100% certain that this was it. So um, we did a quick search through, through the rest of the entire, uh, the whole thread for Gravity Falls on this image board website. And we weren't able to find any other post by this cafe user. Because like on this image board, like everyone has an ID related to their um, username. So like it's not as anonymous as 4chan is apparently. So um, this cafe person, like they only ever posted on this, uh, on this Gravity Falls thread this one time when they posted this image. So that was a bit suspicious to us. But there were also a couple of other instances of people posting one-time fan art that they made onto the, onto this website, and also we also found that on Fortune as well. A lot of times there are these situations where um, artists only post their work onto these image board websites and nowhere else, and they that's why we can never find them elsewhere. And that was a, a big deal just because um, yeah, if we can find proof that this was indeed original then perhaps we can determine that this cafe person, they only ever uploaded this image onto here, but never had any plans of posting it elsewhere. Because that would also explain why there's no one else claiming that they were the creator of this image. So how are we able to, how are we going to now determine this? Well, I remember something from an old YouTube video I saw many, many years ago. It's from a YouTuber by the name of Scared Theater, and he made a video in which he tried to prove that an image that he was sent from a fan of his was not photoshopped or edited or something in it. And he used a website called photoforensics.com. And this, this website alongside showing if an image is photoshopped or not, can also give you the metadata of an image. So that's what I did. I downloaded the image off of, of the image board from the archive. I then uploaded it onto photo forensics and I checked the metadata. And oh my gosh, I found a lot of stuff. Like a lot, like this image had so much information below it. And just to be, com just to compare, I also downloaded the images, the same version of the image with the circle on it off of Imgur and the Know Your Memes website. And I put them both into Photo Forensics as well and checked their metadata. And both of those images didn't have anywhere near the amount of metadata that this image had. So what I had found here was the original image I had basically concluded and now I had the metadata to prove it. So I began looking through it and the first thing that stuck out to me was that there was a tab called Photoshop. And I mean, yeah, that basically proved that this image had been posted, had been run on Photoshop at some point, which was um, a big discovery. So I began looking even more into it and I found below it in the XMP tab, a create date. And the create date was listed as the 6th of July, 2012 at 2331 and nine seconds plus two, 200 something. And that was a bit of a surprise. Like the way, like, I mean, I, I can read 24 hour format of, of time, of course, like I'm not that stupid, but this was kind of a weird layout of the, of the, of the, uh, date, of the date. So I decided to contact someone who knows this stuff better. I got in touch with my uh, friend Inner Element, who is a, he's a really great guy. And he's also an editor for um, the Mystery Shack Look Back podcast for which I uploaded a video the other day. And I definitely recommend you go check out that podcast as it's really awesome and it has really amazing uh, stories and stuff from Gravity Falls. And any Gravity Falls fan will absolutely enjoy it. But anyway, so I asked Inner Element if he could verify the metadata that this image had and see if he could determine that what I had found was legit. So he 
he um, looked at the image and he confirmed what I had suspected. So he basically told me that the image displayed as being originating from Adobe Photoshop on a Windows computer. It had it was it came from apparently an old HP laptop, and the create date was listed that was listed was being listed in CEST time, and CEST is listed as Central European Summer Time. So apparently, this image originated from a user in Europe. So this cafe guy, if they are the person who made the image, they originated from Europe. So. I just I did a quick uh, obviously time conversion because I don't know how what the difference between um, CEST and EDT are. I, I converted the time and the time that I got was 5:31 p.m. EDT. 5:31 p.m. EDT. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. That's significant because remember, Cafe posted their image at 5:32 p.m. EDT onto this image board. So that means that literally a minute before Cafe posted this image onto this image board, it was created on Photoshop. So my guess is they, that they edited this photo with Slenderman in it on Photoshop, saved the file, and then posted it onto this image board website literally a minute later. That confirms it. That basically confirms it with proof. Because I mean, there is no other way that this could be from somewhere else. Like literally a minute difference. There is no way that someone else could have shared this image and then posted it somewhere else and then Cafe finds it within that time span. Literally, we did it. <laughs> we found it with legitimate metadata proof that this image came from the goddamn furry board. <laughs> I'm just amazed like we even were able to find this image to begin with like I had given up completely ever being able to find the origin of this image and yet here it is we found it I'm I'm just blown away this 10 years 10 years this mystery has been eluding Gravity Falls fans like I'm pretty sure no one even thought about this until I showed up because I've never seen anyone else trying to find the origin of this image um but yeah, this image, an image that even Alex Hirsch has acknowledged the existence of to the point that he, it likely inspired him to add Slenderman in the Gravity Falls Lost Legends. And it makes sense why no one has been able to, able to find it because this, this image board website shut down a couple of years ago. So the origin of the image was lost to time. And my guess as to what happened is that this cafe person, they posted this image onto the uh, furry board. Um, Tiger, who we found posts from later on in the, in the thread, discovers the photo and posts it on 4chan's uh, cartoon board. 4chan obviously tells him that the image is fake and he realizes it's fake, but the image has now been posted onto 4chan and it begins to spread from there. Um, what happens on the, on, the, on the 8th and 9th of July as well as the 10th of July, we have no idea. But what we do know is that eventually someone adds the red circle onto the image, which in turn then gets posted onto Know Your Memes and eventually onto these other websites such as Tumblr and um, the Stevie Nart post that I found. And then eventually it gets posted onto Imgur, where the image starts going and spreading in popularity and well, the rest is history. That is my working theory as to where this image began spreading from. Ladies and gentlemen, we have solved it. And I want to give a huge thanks to the three people who made this possible. Um, Patrick, of course, is the big hero of this entire story as he was the one who found this this image on 4chan. Even though his original source ended up not being the original crew source of the image, he did ultimately help us in finding the crew source. And without him, none of this would have happened. He is the one who truly deserves the credit for finding the Gravity Falls Slenderman hoax image. And I'm just so thankful for him. Like he was responsible for finding this. I also got to give a huge thank you to my friend N7 Spongy as he helped in verifying things and giving a second opinion on matters because originally I was skeptical and he was also skeptical because he was on the server at the exact same time. And we both were able to verify that these, these sources that uh, Patrick was sending were indeed true. And that from there we were able to verify and find out all this other information. Even if, his, even if he by admission has said that his contribution to this project is small, I am beyond thankful for his 
help because we couldn't have done this without him. And of course, I have to also give a huge, huge thank you to Inner Element because he was the one who verified the metadata that I found in the image on Photo Forensics, and he confirmed the image as legitimate and gave us the exact idea of what the time that the image was posted on was. So without him, we wouldn't have been able to confirm all this information because I can't read metadata for the life of me. So he is truly the hero at the end as well, alongside those other two, in helping find this image. So yeah, that is the end of the story. After over a year of trying to find the origin of this Gravity Falls Slenderman hoax image, we have finally succeeded. Cafe, of course, is still an anonymous user and we can't be 100% certain unless they themselves tell us, but from the evidence that we've been able to find, I am very confident in concluding that they were the creator of this image. Um, Cafe, if by some miracle you're watching this video 10 years on, um, I I would be really cool, really grateful if you could, you know, with proof, give us a explanation, like maybe tell us whether I am completely right in my guess as to you being the creator of this image or I'm completely wrong and that there's something we missed. Um, um, but for now, I'm I'm just gonna sleep better at night knowing that this is the original creator of the image and we've found the origin. So yeah, that is the end of this video and the end of the story. The Gravity Falls Slenderman hoax image that eluded Gravity Falls fans for over 10 years has finally been found on a defunct image-based bulletin board for furries. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. You literally can't make this stuff up. <laughs> okay, but seriously, what is Alex Hirsch gonna say if he ever finds this out? <laughs>